Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun series to announce for the month of March. We are getting lucky with lots of green palettes. I have every shadow palette next to me that has green in it, that is available, and I'm going to do a random number drawing and we're going to let my phone pick which one the eye look is going to be today. So if that sounds interesting to you and you want to continue seeing this series every Wednesday in March, then just keep watching. Here are the palettes I have. I will take a picture of all of these palettes and make sure that I post it here so that you know. Random number between one and 10. The phone says seven. So I'm gonna count down seven. The Sigma Untamed Palette. By the way, everything that's on my face will be listed in the description box below, as always. But this is the Sigma Untamed palette. I have not played with this in a while. I am excited. Some rich, beautiful shades. Uh, I do have my eyes primed. Let's hope for no fallout, considering I have all of my concealer and everything done. But we are going to jump in, and I am going to go in with this. Let's see what this docile looks like. Hmm. Looks like it's pretty creamy. Let's not do that. I'm gonna start with this camouflage, which is a deep olivey green. And I'm gonna use a small blending brush. This one is from AOA. And I'm just gonna start in that outer corner. And we're kinda, kinda, we're gonna kinda work backwards. I'm gonna start with that deepest shade. And we're gonna build up that outer corner. See what I did there? I got way too much on my brush. So we can take a clean brush and try to blend, or we can go into that, I'm gonna go into that docile shade, and we're just gonna, it's kinda like a makeup eraser. If you use a shade that is close to your skin tone, we're gonna go through there. Let's see, I have not used these shadows in a while. And you forget how pigmented. If you are familiar with uh, ABH shadows, this formula reminds me of that super rich and pigmented. But we will make this work. Heavy handed Jenny. We're just gonna blend and blend and blend. And it's a good thing I did a neutral lip because we're gonna have a very bold, smoky eye today but I have all different shades of green in my lineup. I have brighter greens, I have deeper greens. I am so excited for this series for March and I feel very lucky that you're here watching, so thank you. And if you do enjoy this video while you're watching, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna go in with this Envy, which is a lovely olivey shimmer. We're gonna go in there with that. Wow. That's pretty. Okay, going back into that camouflage. Now we have to match it. I mean, so much pigment. But it doesn't seem to be flying everywhere and it does seem to be controllable and I have played with this palette quite a few times it's just been a while but wow this is gonna this challenge is gonna have me using palettes that maybe I haven't used and that's exciting to me Let's make sure those edges match and with that docile shade again because it's a little creamy Going back in with Envy, that shimmer. Look at that. Now I think what I wanna do is use this boho shade underneath and it looks like a sort of a brown 
with a little bit of green in it. I need a pencil brush, so I'm gonna use this one. This one is from Zoeva. And we're going into Boho. Oh, that's pretty. I want to tie the dark green in that's on the outside with underneath, so I'm going to take that, go back into that camouflage, and just pull it underneath a little bit. So we don't want to look disjointed. We want those colors to blend together. So back in with that camouflage here. Fix those edges. Have to be as seamless as possible. about to take my mother to the dentist, so I'm going to be looking very March happy. <laughs> Everybody wears green eyeshadow in March, right? Comment below, are you Irish? Do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day? I am Irish. Funny enough, I didn't know I was until I did the 23andMe. There we go. I think that looks beautiful. If we wanted to brighten it up a little bit, I did bring in my e.l.f. Mint Melt No Budge Stick, which I believe is still available. I'm going to try putting this just in my inner corner here and see if it shows up. It does. Take a brush and spread that out a little bit. And added a little bit of light there. Just grabbed my Inglot gel liner. Let's go ahead and put a nice bold wing on this eye. And I love my Sigma E46 with it. Easiest wing ever. Love this stuff. I'm gonna curl my lashes, throw a little bit of my Milani highly rated anti-gravity mascara on, and I'll be right back. I am back, mascara is on. That highly rated mascara is so beautiful from Milani. Couple last minute add-ons. I wanna throw a little bit of my Essence, this is the Extreme Lasting Eyeliner on my waterline. really lasts and so inexpensive and just completes our smoky eye look. I grabbed my e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick from the Cookies and Dreams. Can't stop talking about this. Love it in Sweet Cream just for that inner corner brightness. I'm going to take a clean brush and just fluff that out a little bit. A little setting spray. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury blocks it in place. I'm going to have a mask on at the dentist's office. I would like my makeup to last. 
If you enjoyed this, please give the video a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so that you see when I upload videos, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. I do lots of fun full faces and eye looks and testing new makeup, so I hope that you will consider joining me before you leave. I would love to have you. We're going to have some fun this month. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Have a great day.